Hi lovely viewers, it's me again your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. The unity which we gave to the people of Zambia the citizens themselves of this country, our aim as a patriotic front, we wanted to create our own billionaires so that we can attend to our economy within ourselves. What we are seeing today, we are seeing a different route altogether. And I want to encourage the people of Zambia never to lose hope because uh, this country belongs to all of us. This country belongs to the people of Zambia themselves. Who are the people of Zambia? It's me and you, including the people who are governing today. We have seen that uh, in our economy today, the economy is not... Uh, ticking. There's a lot of uh, issues to do with uh, the economy of this country. Issues to do with mining, issues to do with agriculture, issues to do with water, issues to do with electricity, and many other issues which we need to address as a nation. We call upon the President of the Republic of Zambia, Mr. Akainde Ichirema, to call an economic endeavor for all of us to participate and bring new ideas how we can salvage our economy of this country. This is our country. This country belongs to us and belongs to the future generation. It is not personal to other country. All of us, we have got shares, including you, our men and women, uh, our journalists. The media fraternity, you have to get consent. When you see something which is not going well, we need to participate and bring out new ideas. Advising government is not a crime. Advising government is not a crime. And today, I hope and trust that we are not going to commit a crime. Who we'll advise government at this press briefing? We are going to advise government on road shedding. I remember very well when President Akainde Ichirema held the press briefing at State House. I remember PZ and Hope from Hot FM. They went to interview President Akainde Ichirema and he promised us that uh, Hope, two months or so, we have finished uh, road shedding. So today we are experiencing Mr. President three days, four days of road shedding. And this is the road shedding which the president promised us that uh, we have dealt with road shedding. We have seen the vice president of this country, Honorable Mutare Narumango, coming to the people again saying, the reason why we are having road shedding is because of PF. And we are wondering, why PF? Because the president told the people of Zambia that uh, we have managed to handle road shedding. The vice president, she comes, she's telling us that uh, why we are having road shedding is because of PF. PF is not in government. The party in government is UPND. And the UPND, they have the responsibility to end road shedding. And President Akainde Ichirima has given us a lot of examples how Zambia can end road shedding. One of the examples he gave us is Dubai. He gave us the example of Dubai. And today, we don't know whether it's the people who are working with President Akainde Ichirima who are failing to implement Akainde Ichirima, Ichirima's policies. Today, we are wondering why President Akainde Ichirema is weights 
and deeds are two different things. We don't know whether the technocrats they have failed Aka Inde Ichirima or not. Mr. Aka Inde Ichirima, my president, the president of the Republic of Zambia, we want to advise you one thing that uh, you have a team which is not helping you. The group of people you have, they are not helping you. Your ministers, they don't know what they are doing. Your ministers are very blank. They don't know what they are doing. We want to advise you to fire some of your ministers. There are issues at Ministry of Health. We expect you, Mr. President, to get rid of Madam Sylvia Masebo. Because all of us, even the baby, the five-year baby, she can attest to that, or he can attest to that, that the uh, Minister of Health has failed. Transferring a failure, it will not help that minister to take. You have a lot of uh, bike benches in Parliament, whom you can use to occupy those positions. You have the chair for health committee at Parliament, who's a UPND member of Parliament. He is a doctor, and you can appoint him as a minister of health. If you don't want to appoint that minister, that MP, you have young men and women in the UPND or in Parliament who can work as ministers. You have the young uh, Lomio Kangombe, you have the young Kambita, you have a lot of young men and women in the UPND who can occupy those positions. Mr. President, this is a time to engage a lot of young men and women in governing this nation. We want the young men and women to be counted. We want them to participate. We want them to add value to the growth of our economy. Your Minister of Health, then, Madam Masebo, we have transferred from our ministry to the Ministry of Agriculture. The Minister of Lands, I mean, the Minister of Lands is a very sensitive ministry, Mr. President. And we don't need a failure to head that ministry. It's a very sensitive ministry. Why can't you try other members of the UPND? Or you have got a right to nominate any citizen of this country who can perform in those portfolios. Mr. President, the Minister of Agriculture, Honorable Ruben Mutolo, is a failure. He has failed from day one. And we don't know why you are still keeping the Minister of Agriculture. Mili Mil, Mr. President, it is and bearable to our citizens in Kanyama, our citizens in uh, uh, Ngombe, and even the surrounding, surrounding area here, uh, uh, Kamanga and Kaunda Square where we stay. I've been interacting with our, our, our neighbors, the people in Kamanga. They have confirmed to me that they are failing to have three meals a day. Mr. President. They have confirmed to me. I interact with them. And the problem is the Minister of Agriculture, who is supposed to be a number one advisor on the issues to do with agriculture to you, Mr. President. I don't know why you are taking time to fire the Minister of Agriculture, because it's not adding value at all to your governance of this uh, country called Zambia. He has failed. By the time I was a member of parliament, I cautioned Mr. Mutolo to stop exporting maize and millimil to Congo and other countries. Proudly, with a lot of ignorance and arrogance, Mr. Mutolo told the people of Zambia that the policy of UPND is to continue selling maize and millimil to DRC and any other African country. And he told us that we want to uh, treat agriculture as business. All of us, we have treated agriculture as business. That's why we encourage 
our farmers to grow in access so that uh, when we secure our food uh, reserve for our country then uh, uh, other produce we can export to other countries but immediately they came in they sold everything and I want to encourage Mr. President don't waste your time anymore fire the Minister of Agriculture he's not adding any value don't look at their faces they will cost you don't look at their faces they will cost you I want to salute President former President Edgar Chagualungu His Excellency Edgar Chagualungu he had to fire ministers Minister of Sports by then Honorable Moses Mawere Minister of Health Honorable Chitalu uh, uh, Minister Kambwiri Minister Emerin Kabanshi and many more ministers were fired by President Edgar Chagualungu he wanted to make sure that he fights corruption and also give the people of Zambia the development which they needed and you can see across the country that President Edgar Chagalungu gave the people of Zambia the development they needed he gave them schools he gave them hospitals he gave them uh, health posts he gave them roads and many other infrastructure he gave them he had to pump in money into agriculture for us to have what we call bumper harvest we had bumper harvest in president edgar chagalungu's administration it is not that edgar chagalungu had no uh, issues in his tour of duty as the president of this country we experienced a lot of issues we experienced drought we experience floods we experience cholera we experience covid but president lungo managed to fight all those things as it's giving development to the people of zambia so mr president don't waste your time fire these ministers the minister the minister of energy now minister of livestock I don't know why you are keeping him. I don't know why you are keeping him. You can't keep a failure from the Ministry of Energy and you are taking that failure to the Ministry of Livestock. There is nothing that we are doing, Mr. President. You are just creating more problems. Fire those ministers. The Minister of Water. Mr. President, on the press briefing, you told us that where can you have the boho for 500,000 kwacha even yourself we were worried mr president that you can't uh, drill a boho for 500,000 kwacha and what uh, what have we seen transferring a minister was uh, 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 he was in the ministry of water where the boho was costing 500 kwacha and you bring that minister to minister of green and uh, uh, green economy Mr. President, there is nothing that you are doing. There is nothing that you are doing. You are not helping yourself. Fire those ministers. You have got more than 10 ministers you have to fire for you to start performing to the expectation of the people of Zambia. Minister of Mines. Minister of Mines is another failure, Mr. President. He's another failure, Mr. President. Minister of Mines, he was my district chairman for Chiridabombwe and my former mayor for Chiridabombwe I know him very well that ministry is too huge for him what he's doing there Mr. President those are the people who cost you in 2026 this is the time you need and you have to make sure that you put things in order we are saying so brothers and sisters in Kalingalinga 
who are performing their or conducting their businesses as hand to mouth, it is very difficult for them to survive today. The Baba boys and men in Karingalinga and across the nation, they are failing to, uh, to, to, uh, to, uh, to work because of this road shedding. Our sisters in Kamanga, those with the saloons, they are failing to work because of this road shedding. Mr. President, we started as MMD to attend to the future uh, this for the future of electricity in our country. President Rupia Bwezan Banda by then, may so rest in peace, we started by promoting solar geysers because we anticipated what we are experiencing today. We anticipated what we are experiencing today. When you go to State House, State House compound, you find a lot of solar geysers, which project which we started with great president Lupia Bezanbanda. That project was launched in Mandevu Rally. Some of you, you, you can recall that. For us to reduce on the overload of Zesco by reducing and encouraging the people of Zambia to start using solar geysers. We also encourage the people of Zambia to switch off the stoves, the electricity stove to go to gas stoves. Under the president, the late president Lupia Bozan Banda. When the late president Michael Sata came, he pushed on this and President Edgar Chagwalungu had implemented this fight by opening up solar farms in this country. One of the solar farms is the one which President Akainde Ichirema recently commissioned in Kitwe. It was Edgar Chagwalungu's baby. The other solar farm which we have in um, Nyukasama at Emphes, it is Edgar Chagwalungu's baby and many other solar farms which uh, we started uh, constructing under Minister of Energy in conjunction with Zesco. So for us, we anticipated this. Being the member of cabinet by then, the issue of electricity was a huge issue. It was a huge issue and our aim is, was to subsidize the people of Zambia because the people of Zambia we said they are paying a lot of taxes and we wanted them not to pay a lot of money for power so President Edgar Chagwalungu wanted to subsidize and he had to subsidize the power which uh, we used under his leadership. The other problem which we have is CEC. That CEC, it's, that CEC is a scandal. CEC is a scandal. We almost uh, cancelled the contract between CEC and Zesco because CEC was stealing from the people of Zambia. And we agreed as government to cancel that contract because CEC is buying electricity from Zesco. By then they were buying between three to five cents. And they were selling to between 11 and 15 cents to the mines. Stealing from the people of Zambia. Stealing from the people of Zambia. And that electricity, some of that electricity, we are just importing that electricity from Mozambique. So we say to ourselves, why are we keeping CEC? Why are we keeping CEC? CEC is not a government subsidiary. CEC is in the private hands. Why are we keeping CEC? On the expense of the people of Zambia. For us, we did our part as cabinet and we are just waiting 
for that contract to be cancelled. But today, CEC, they are celebrating. They have made a lot of billions. They are about to construct uh, the power station in Kabompo. Another one, if I'm not mistaken, between Nigeria or Ghana. Using our taxpayers' money. So, Mr. President, some of these things, these are things which you can sit, reflect on it, and act on behalf of the Zambians. And that is the responsibility number one which we gave you. If you recall very well, the citizens of this country, our colleagues, the media, we told the people of Zambia that IMF is not something that we should entertain as a country. There is no country where IMF has visited and that country stand to celebrate. No country. Each and every country IMF has visited, those countries, their citizens cry. We told you this. We wrote to IMF. Some of you are even laughing. Oh, but man, what are you trying to achieve? What I was trying to achieve is to block IMF from coming to Zambia. Because I knew that IMF, those boys and girls in Washington, there's nothing that they can offer to our country. I told them that you have nothing to offer to our country. The solutions of our country lies in our hands. We need home-based solutions, not IMF. We wrote to IMF, and uh, it is in the public domain. IMF responded to us. As usual, they failed to answer our questions. They referred us to the, uh, the, 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 our government. We went to, uh, to the Minister of Finance. We wrote to Minister uh, Stumbeko Musokotwane. We wrote uh, to uh, uh, Secretary to the Treasury, Nkurukusa. And up to date, we have not received any response from them. Which means, even them, they had no answers to give to the people of Zambia. But what you are seeing today, we are seeing poverty increasing in our country. We are seeing poverty increasing in our country. And this is the thing which we wanted to fight. Zambia is a very rich country. Zambia is a very rich country. We have natural resources everywhere, God-given. And what we want to do, what we have to do, is just to put our heads together and make sure that we develop this country on our own. This is our country and we need to develop this country and it's between you and me. That's all, not any other person. The issue to do with corruption. Corruption is bad. Corrupt corruption is bad. It's an evil thing. And when you have corrupt people in the country, you can't develop. You cannot develop. And I want to encourage the president that uh, let us fight corruption as a nation together. Let us fight corruption as a nation together. I am proud Zambian and a proud former government official and I can walk with my head high in the streets of Lusaka, in the streets of Zambia and the streets of Africa that I executed my duty as a government official above board. There is no one who can come to me and tell me that Bowman, when you are performing your duties as a minister for Copper Belt Minister for Lusaka, you committed this offense. My hands are very clean. Very clean. You may ask me the question, but Bowman, why are you in court? And I'll answer you that, go and see the, my indictment in court and come to me and tell me that Bowman, you are lying. You committed uh, uh, some offenses while working as a minister. Not at all. Not at all. I'm a very proud former government official. That's why I'm um, talking about corruption with my head and my, my brain and my heart, which is very open, that corruption is bad. 
Corruption is bad. And we expect the president to fight this corruption with teeth and nail. Whether his people are, are participating in this corruption, let him fire, arrest them, and prosecute them. And we were waiting to see the government officials who are participating in corruption. We know them. We know a lot of them. In Copper Belt, we know them. In Lusaka, we know them. And we know the files which are at the uh, SEC connecting to the current government officials whom they are failing to prosecute. We know what is happening at SEC. We know. And uh, we are encouraging the SEC to perform their duties without getting intimidation from anyone. Let them work the way they, they, they have been working on us. Let them work. They have been coming to cut our gates. They have been uh, arresting us. Take us to court, to police, or to SEC. And they have found that, ah, but uh, I am a guy, see? politics is tapari of a tamagaiza and it's very sad it's very sad so we want to encourage the president to to fight this corruption and not to engage in persecution persecution is bad because persecution destroys families when you come here you harass me here with my kids around my kids may think there's something that i've done but in the actual sense it's just politics so let us fight corruption let us not fight let us not uh, uh, fight a political uh, persecution let us remove political persecution and fight corruption on that score, I want to turn to region issues. I hope and trust that uh, we have exhausted our situation which we are facing in our country, politically, economically, and also the issues concerning other activities. Uh, we have seen also in our country today that when you go to the courts of law, you will find all opposition, political party leaders, lining up to enter in one or one uh, in these uh, uh, courts. One in this court, the other one in that court, the other one in that court, which is not giving us uh, a good picture to the outside world. I want to talk about also the issue to do with um, Edgar Chagwa Lungu. Edgar Chagwa Lungu is a parent to some of us, a colleague to most of us, and some of us uh, we have got uh, a close ties with President Edgar Chagwa Lungu. The issue to do with Alewele Lapo, it is not uh, my issue, it's not uh, President Akainde's issue, it is not uh, any person's issue. It's an issue for the people of Zambia. Let the people of Zambia decide whether they need President Lungu to come back or not. It is not uh, the issue of debate. Let them decide. We have seen a lot of people have gone to polls and the people of Zambia have said no. We have seen a lot of politicians who would want to stand as members of parliament and the people of Zambia have said no. It is up to the people of Zambia to decide. It's up to the people of Zambia to decide. And the people are speaking a lot concerning Adewele Lapo. It's the UPND ministers because they are failing the president. They are failing the president. That's why I want to encourage the president to fire these ministers, Mr. President. They are sitting ducks. These ministers, fire them. But President, 
aya kubo mbele chalo ba ishire na amano ya suma aya kuchinja ekonomi but the president teti babo mbeweka wafile wale wambana ma ministers no but these ministers tapari wafabarechi ta they are not helping him it is not enough just to be called the minister it is not enough you have to work and for us as the people of Zambia we voted for president Aka in the HM. We did not vote for Kabuswe. We didn't vote for Kapala. And Molova Kapala doesn't even know how it feels to be voted for. He doesn't even know. He doesn't even know. That's why if you see his performance, it's below par. He almost fought with a member of parliament for Kalabo. Because he doesn't even feel how they cast votes in the constituency. How to keep the constituency, the branches, the words. He doesn't know. For him, it was a jackpot to get uh, a ministerial position at a free plate. Very free, without any uh, struggle. He was given Minister of Energy. So the issue to do with the uh, Edgar Chagwalungu. Let them forget about Edgar Chagwalungu. Let them concentrate on how to salvage this economy from where we are today. President Taka Inde Ichirema, in this whole thing, is very innocent. The culprits are the ministers. The people are supposed to advise him on agriculture. They are trotting in parliament and uh, issuing statements which is not helping the country. The issue was supposed to help them in electricity, energy. They are in parliament insulting the villagers that uh, we can't afford to give a feeding station to the people of Kalavo. People of Kalavo, they are people like us. They need these services as well. They need these services as well. Now we have a minister who is not sensitive to their statements. The people of Zambia they need feeding stations next to their doorstep. So these people, Your Excellency, they are not helping you. And the issue to do with Edgar Chagwalungu, let the people talk. Let the people talk. Forget about the de debate on this issue. Let the people talk. We are concentrating on non-issues instead of concentrating with issues which can help Zambia to develop. We are concentrating on non-issues at all the issue to do with the regional issues we know that uh, us we engage ourselves in global politics and regional politics we appeal to the president of the republic of zambia mr aka inde ichirema to address the issue to do with zimbabwe the issue to do with Zimbabwe, it's not a Kada issue. It's a very sensitive issue. We saw UPND Kadas in Indola talking about Zimbabwe. Another Kadas talking about Zimbabwe. This is very sensitive issue. And it's an issue which is bordering our diplomatic uh, relation with Zimbabwe. And we hope and trust that the president who handle the issue of Zimbabwe carefully and we suggest that uh, the Minister of Foreign Affairs working with the President of the Republic of Zambia to engage the former President Edgar Chagwalungu to be an envoy to Zimbabwe to go and settle these issues. Politics aside, Zambia and Zimbabwe before 1964 were one. Zambia and Malawi we were one. So there is nothing like Zimbabwe, another country, Zambia, another country, Malawi, another country. We are one country. We can call it that we are a pro the sister province. We have a lot of Zimbabweans here. We have a lot of Zambians in Zimbabwe. We have a lot of Zambians in Malawi. We have a lot of Malawians in Zambia. It's a one country. And this diplomatic uh, relation, it's very important for us to have a sound diplomatic relation with Zimbabwe. And President, former President Edgar Chagalungu, 
It's the best person to be a Zambian envoy to Zimbabwe to discuss our bilateral relation with Zimbabwe. And I hope the minister and the president can get this message quickly so that the issue of Zimbabwe, we can put it to bed. The issue to do with South Africa, the South Africa, we want to encourage them that the government of national unity, which they have come up with in South Africa, we pray that it works. Because South Africa is a very strategic country where economy is concerned to this country, Zambia. And South Africa and Zambia, we are brothers and sisters. We hope and trust that uh, the government of the national unity, which has been uh, formed in South Africa, it will work in the betterment for the people of South Africa and the region at large. The happenings in Kenya, the happenings Kenya and the Uganda situation, it is very regrettable that uh, we have lost lives, especially in Kenya. Young men, they have lost lives. And their call is similar to what uh, our fellow young men and women in Zambia, they are calling government to do. Their calls are very genuine. The young men and women in Kenya, they want their government to provide jobs to them. They are ready to work. They have told the government that we are ready to work. Give us jobs. We want to work. Similar to what is happening in our country. Our young and men, young and women, they have been telling governments that give us works. Give us jobs. We want to work. And it's up to the government to create jobs to the youths and its citizens. So we want to pray that the situation in Kenya, it will be normalized. And we want to urge our youths in Kenya to avoid engaging themselves into violence. Their calls are genuine. But we don't want them to engage themselves into violence. There is nothing that can be sorted out through violence. Each and every issue can be sorted out through dialogue, through the round table. And we expect our brothers and sisters in Kenya to explore dialogue instead of violence. And we expect the government of Kenya to listen, listen to what the people are saying. The issue to do with global, the issue to do with uh, the United States of America and the happenings, especially the attempted assassination of the former president, President Donald Trump, it is very regrettable. And very unfortunate as a country under the citizen of this country Zambia we know that America has been enjoying democracy for the past 200 years and for us we copy our democracy from them and seeing America engaging in political violence it was very unfortunate, very unfortunate. And we wish the quick recovery to the former president, Donald Trump, as he's covering from the wounds he sustained during that uh, attempted assassination. As a citizen of this country, and as a politician, I want to take this opportunity to declare my support 
of the 47th incoming president of the Republic uh, of the, the United States of America, Donald Trump. Yeah. And my endorsement of Donald Trump, yeah. I have seen that is the only person who can bring stop to some of the nonsense which we have been seeing globally. One, the issue to do with the Ukraine war. We hope and trust that uh, Donald Trump can stop this fight which has been going on in Ukraine. We want to also declare that Donald Trump he has been pushing for a very good uh, policies of respecting the Africans, the blacks in America. And he wants to create jobs to those Africans in America. We also believe that uh, the core of Donald Trump and his uh, running mate, J.D. Vance, that to make America great again, it is a very good move. And we want to encourage African governments to emulate what Donald Trump is doing. Africa, we have everything. We have everything in this continent. But we always run to America. We run to IMF. We run to World Bank to seek for funds. Those World Bank and IMF, they can never develop Africa. This Africa who be developed by us, Africans. So we want to encourage Donald Trump that your call of making America great again is a good call, and we encourage you to do that, and we encourage to ourselves to emulate what Trump wants to achieve in America. And Donald Trump, come November, he'll be back as the President of the United States without any challenges. We have seen that uh, the Democrats, they have nominated a woman as a, uh, the nominee for 20, 24 November elections in America. But for us, we will support Donald Trump. And on that call, we will contribute $1,000 to the Donald Trump campaign and fundraising team. <laughs> we want to be part of it. Yeah. We want America to be great so that the world will be great again. We don't want this confusion which is happening in Africa. We don't want this confusion which is happening in the world. We want this world to be peaceful so that we can stay as human beings. And the only person who can do that is President Donald Trump. And today we want to change his name from let us make world, uh, America great again to the bulldozer of the world. Yeah. So Donald Trump, so Donald Trump will be calling him the bulldozer of the world. He's going to conquer all these issues which we are seeing in Ukraine and other issues. The, the issue to do with the illegal immigrants in the uh, United States. We want to encourage Donald Trump to make sure that you put that to the stop, especially Africans. Stop illegal Africans coming to America. We want these Africans to develop our own countries. They can go to America to get uh, education and come back and implement that in our country. We need them. We need them to work here. We need Africa to develop. We need Africa to develop. And it can only develop when we have Africans who are committed to develop this country, this continent. So for me, these are the few words which I had for the people of Zambia and the people of Africa and for the people of the world. We want to thank all of you. We want to thank Mother Zambia 
and we want to thank you journalists you have been working under difficult conditions under difficult challenges but please educate and inform our people on the things which has been happening in our country across the borders and in the global world the people wants to know the people wants to know and when you see corrupt ministers tell the people that these are corrupt ministers so today we have told the president mr president you have got all nice mps in parliament under upnd fire kapala fire kabuswe fire masevo fire uh, mutolo and many other ministers are not performing don't look at their faces don't think no i was with them when i was campaigning that was time for campaigning this is a time to do real issues real issues not campaigns real issues issues which is affecting the people of zambia you need people who can help you we have young people in that parliament the kangombes the kambitas name them you have a lot of young people the Mwandi member of parliament you have a lot of young men and women in uh, in uh, in parliament mr president there is no one who has got a qualification to be a minister anyone can be a minister anyone can be a minister so let us have a zambia which we want and the zambia we want we want a zambia where our people have three meals a day our people have money to pay the bills our people will take their kids to school and these are the few ways i had for all of you i thank you and may god bless you all uh, thank you Nabil Sambo for nine five dollars. It looks like we've got two bulldozers in the world now. One in uh, the United States and one in Zambia. So we'll see how the work will be done. We believe the work of the bulldozers to clear things up and I'm sure uh, the industry will come with that great support. Um, at this point, I uh, would like to take any questions from the media. Please colleagues, those with questions, at least let's have or even 10 questions Yes, we can have one from him, at least even ten. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Um, mm, anyway. <laughs> at least even ten questions. It's been a nice discussion. At least even ten questions. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, my name is Blessings. I'm uh, from TV. Honorable, uh, this afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you. Um, I want you to, you, you, you spoke about how you, on the need to fight corruption. Uh, and, and, and recently the president said, um, you know, corruption is something that can be fought overnight. And uh, he feels uh, the UPND needs a little bit of more time to fight this vice. I want you to get your, your reaction on that. Yeah. <coughs> All right. Another one, another one is, uh, I also want to get your reaction on, um, you know, the, the mis misunderstandings that are happening in your party, uh, the PF. I think you've been, you've been quite already you've been off, but you've been closely monitoring what has been happening. I want to get your reaction to what is happening in the, the petrol Okay, let's also have another one, then you can respond, then you can have three more. Yeah, I think partly I stuck on my question, but uh, I think I can add on. Uh, I want to get your thoughts on uh, the current happening in the PF. Currently, we have, I think, few sections. Those that are following former President Ed Galungu, others as Chavinga, others with Mao Samba. How does it make you feel as, uh, as Boman Samba, as Budos? Uh, thank you very much, uh, uh, colleagues. I will start with uh, my friend from um, uh, Crown TV. Uh, responding to the president's uh, uh, call that you can't, fight, you can't fight corruption overnight. Mr. President, you can. You can fight corruption overnight. The reason behind that is that uh, we have institutions which we have uh, put in place. We have uh, a Drug Enforcement Commission, which was established uh, uh, through the Constitution of Zambia. We have Anti-Corruption Commission, and we have got also FIC. And we know exactly what we want to achieve. And DEC and ACC, before arresting, their core number one, 
or responsibility number one is to educate the people of Zambia. And by doing so, Mr. President, the people of Zambia's mindset will be changed and you will fight corruption through education. By protecting as well, we have a lot of watchdogs. It is very easy and possible for corruption to be fought. We, you can fail to fight corruption if you start shielding the collapse. Immediately you start shielding the collapse, then you feel like it is very difficult to fight corruption. But I know President Aka Inde Ichirem, having known him now for some time, it is very difficult for him to shield the corrupt. That's why we have called on the president to fire these ministers because we suspect these ministers they are very corrupt. We suspect that these ministers are very corrupt. Let him fire them. So it is very easy to fight corruption overnight. And it is not fighting corruption overnight. It's not President Akainde Ichlema himself per se that he should be the one fighting corruption. No. We have institutions already set up in our country. Institution of governance. We have them. We have the police. We have uh, uh, SEC. And we have DEC and FIC. So it's not up to the president. The president is just supposed to give a political will to those institutions. So it is very easy to fight corruption. Very easy, Mr. President. If Mr. President wants uh, to, some of us to help him to fight corruption, we are here. We are here. And we will help him. And we will tell him that, Mr. President, this is what is happening in your government. Even today, Mr. President, he has my number. He can call me Boman. What do you mean? I will yeah. tell him. Yeah. I will tell him. Yeah. Okay? It's very easy, sir, to fight corruption. Very easy. The question which uh, you asked, and uh, it is the same question from my colleague, uh, Logic. We have only one PF. We have only one patriotic front party. And all of you, the people of Zambia, you know that you have, we have only one PF. You talked about Chavinga. Mm, <laughs> <laughs> Chavinga, I am going to the president. The president wants Opo ina nemu ina fe shida ambo kuita president. Pana di shwa di fifteen to five quarter procedure. The team fu befe. I want to be president. You wete kanya mo ache. Ababe mbavalanda team. Pombo we birima. Ababirima. Kabaya. Elo ababe mbavamu ne valanda team. Kabundi chef yomutwe. Impako shaba na ven. If you have a president, you must tell me no kulanda. Defo kwa president. Defo kwa president. One day, Fika Misuma. <laughs> President Aka Indejima himself, he told us that governing the nation is not easy. That's what he said. Himself, he told the people, he told us, governing the nation is not easy. Hello, Chabinga Wingesa, to govern which people? <laughs> which people? <laughs> Some of these things, even by the time you want to engage yourself in such issues. First of all, am I ready to be to, to play this game? Some of us who have been quiet. I'm one of the most experienced politicians in Zambia. Most experienced. If we have five, I am one of them. I started politics as a, at, at, a, at a tender age and I've grown as a politician. I've worked with presidents. I understand politics I understand politics very much. So if you want to come and talk about politics of this country, you are welcome. And we will discuss politics. Politics has nothing to do with masters, with the doctorates, with what? No. Politics is it's a different things. It's a different ball game altogether. So for me, we have only one PF. 
1 p.m. I was very excited when I saw how Republicans held their convention. Very united, very beautiful. That's the thing which you want to, to, to see in, the, in this country. Let PF and UPND uh, fight on principle, okay? Using their manifestos. That's what we want to see. I want to argue with Gary on principles. I don't want to fight. And talking about the president is not an insult. It is not an insult. So in this country, we need to change our mindset. Immediately we change our mindset, you will see development coming. But if we continue in this path, presidents will come, presidents will go, we will, we will not see development. Development is about the mindset. So there's only one PF. Only one PF. And in Zambia, according to the, the governance system of our country, we have three arms of government. And the, the three are independent to each other. But what is happening in parliament today? It is very shocking. Even the conducting of business in parliament. I said, ah, I don't even feel like uh, being part of the rubbish. Okay? Because you can describe what is happening in parliament as rubbish. There is nothing which can inspire even you uh, colleagues who want to become MPs. You don't want to be part and parcel of the rubbish which is happening in parliament. You want to take change there. But you can't take change because you'll be curtailed. So we want the three arms of government to operate independently. That's when you are going to see the development which you want to see. So we have only one PF. One PF, one Secretary General, and we want to call for the, uh, a, a, a united PF. So Bachavinga Mubebe, Mubebe Bachavinga Tao, Kumulev, the Kubuta, Fidatuare Butaka, Kupanga Malobatu Muntu, Erote Muntu, Wamonaga. Okay, so cheni tuikatani fiba PFU tuikatani ba UPND begatani. So that ngatwa imini nas PF na ngu debate valeta ba na rumango abo another person who's supposed to be fired this uh, uh, honourable vice president na rumango <laughs> because she's not adding any value to the president or to this country. She's not adding any value. And you want to urge the, and this is very serious. We want to urge the president, withdraw vice president from the public. Because whenever she opens up her mouth, she's annoying the people of Zambia more. Okay? She comes here. Mwadish tisha mataba, au tatuash tisha mataba. The same person, eh? Tuarish tisha mataba as government tuarifo kupera manafamasi. Na mataba nchi mwash tisha. Because mwade landa ta mwash tisha mataba. Again mwasa mkwanda ta mwash tisha. Yo lo di shedding ni ba PF. Ah imwe. Lo di shedding ni ba president ni ba landiri ati tuaripuisha. Yo mwasa mkwanda ti ba PF. Ba PF ba le ba le chita governor nchi mechalo. Inenga na rikuwe te nchita. Ama powers. Na lumango supposed to be out of that position as vice president. Because she's not acting as a bootlicker. She's, a, she's acting like a desperate person. And you want to, to make your, your, your boss feel like, oh, apa, alelandef. But it's destroying the president. It's showing to the people that those two, they don't sit and discuss. They don't discuss. Okay? They don't discuss. So that lady, let her be withdrawn from the public because she's just messing up things. And we don't need her. We don't need her. We don't need her. So, uh, uh, to close on your question, sir, one president, one PF, and we want all of us as PF to work as a team. If to refer to the Tobago Quart in America, Donald Trump, uh, Joe Biden, uh, uh, Kamala, those, okay? Three star discuss. 
the policies of PF, the policies of uh, UPND. That's what we want to see. Ndamwansanga ene na bena riswani so. But we hear people not sanga not musanga bena so. Who arrange that defect? Bad manners. Who told you that when I sit with uh, those people, I have to defect? No. Now I'm going to swani so. Ngai kana na ene ni she has to defect. We need to exchange notes. We live in the global world. Okay. We need to exchange. Tura tura landa no kulanda sa raba president ya faula ya tawa pana faula pat fedefe tu ya landa. Okay. We discuss things because uh, President uh, Akainde Chema is a human being. President Lungu is a human being. Never know what you are mistakes. Gabapanga mistakes. Then another government. Bapanga mistakes. Barrenge is that you were president. We are powerful. Up. You are the best. Ah, apa. Oh, no. I think we are going to change. 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 I think we are going to I receive more UPND. Ministers and UPND members here, we eat from this house. Okay? And I go to their homes as well. So, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, as we talk, we laugh, we exchange notes, and I'm going to say, 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 I'm going let us uh, change our mindset and start thinking like human beings. This country belongs to us. Politics cannot divide us. Politics is just a game. It is just a game. Today I can be UPND, tomorrow I can be PF, the other day I can be Citizens First. It is not a problem. We should not divide this country because of politics. We shouldn't divide this country because of politics. No! We should not. And we want to see President Edgar Lungu, President Takainde Ichirema having coffee. Some of us, we take wine. Others, they take coffee. Others, they take uh, 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 whiskey. It's up to the person's choice. So we need to interact. Let us interact. And one of these days, you media come up with a debate for this president. We want uh, President Lungu, President Takainde Ichirema to discuss on issues pertaining to this country. And the people of Zambia, they will say, President Daka Inderichema, you know a lot of things. President Lungu, you don't know. President Lungu, you know a lot of things. President Daka Inderichema, you don't know. That is democracy, you people. That is democracy. Yeah. So those are the things which I can say. So one PF. We have only one PF. I've seen my brother Andrew there. Uh, two questions from Andrew. Uh, There's another one here. Before I get another one, Andrew, I'd like you to ask two questions. Where's Andrew? While he's thinking, you can also ask a question. Okay. This is Ken Okay. okay. Uh, Samsung, just on the picking it up from where you said you want to see President Hitchlem and Nungo uh, having coffee, um, what is your take on the suggested uh, dialogue between the two leaders? Okay. Yes. My brother Andrew, please bring your question as well. I'll find out whether he's still interested in uh, contesting the Kabushi seat in the next election. Any other question before Honorable can respond? Maybe just a follow up from Andrew. Okay. Um, uh, Quick question is first question, Honorable. Is it Kabushi or Nani? <laughs> Good question. Okay, we'll allow him to respond now. Then we can close. Okay, thank you very much. I'll start with my, 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 my brother here. Um, dialogue cannot be forced. Okay? It is a notorious fact that uh, President Lungu and President Takainde Ichirema, they just have to talk for the betterment of this country. Don't underrate President Lungu and don't underrate President Takainde Ichirema. President Lungu was a, pres was a president for this country for seven years. And Kwatama Sapotazi, Ayengi, both in government and outside government. President Akainde Ichirema is a president of this country. He has supporters both in government and outside government. And for things to move both inside and outside, those people have to work together. Those people have to, it's just a notorious fact, they just have to work together. So, but I can deal with Shinguruka. Baka in the HLM. But no, not to later Edgar Lungu. Hey, no, Nishan, Nishan. They are destroying the president. If I was the president, I would have been 
uh, communicating with Edgar Lungo and Edgar Lungo who has been my my, my, my best friend kubwa munandi fye san iwenga wakwata vice president na former president umu nobe tapari fika kushupa mchalo finish fika kushupa mchalo tapari because whatever they fall kuima the, the former president will come out ah, you guys give him chance to govern let him govern the people of Zambia gave him uh, a mandate to govern now bakandile baadile ita confusion there is a political tense in this country and we need to diffuse this tense the political tense which is in this country and the only people can diffuse this it's a president a former president Edgar Chagwalungu traditional leaders and the church not one church oh come here no churches they have got association I don't know if it's association or what they can come together all their associations and call for these two to talk I know President Lungu myself I've been with President Lungu you know he gave me an opportunity to be his minister for five years for Lusaka and the Copper Belt province and I want to salute him I know this government uh, like he, uh, on the palm of my hand I know it so the part in Gambe party governance woof that's why I am ready to govern this country I'm ready to govern this country and those opportunities they are coming when I'll be in parliament with logic I'll be in parliament with the Aquino I'll be in parliament with Isaac you see what I mean yes and that time is coming President gave him five years and 2026 we are going to renew our mandate and the people of Zambia they're going to decide whether to to give him another five years or to vote for another president it's up to the people of Zambia Kabushi or Munari at this point both and I'll decide when we reach there because I'm very popular in, in Kabushi and I'm very popular in Munari. Very popular. And for me to become a member of parliament for Munari, I will be the first Munari MP because all the MPs who have been here, they stay out of Munari. The MP who is there now he stays in Chongwe. So in Munari, we don't have an MP. Munari is open to anyone. <laughs> so I'm very popular in Munali and I'm very popular in Kabushi Constance. Sure. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.